In the first frames, we see a beautiful young woman tidying herself up in front of the mirror. She meets with men, and is the embodiment of a living dream for many of them. Soon she was seeing another client, and Catherine who works as a gynecologist, watches from the window. She examines her last patient for the day, a young ballerina who wonders out loud why some women even feel the need for male attention. Meanwhile, Professor David Stewart speaks to his students, among whom he is popular. The girls wanted to invite him to dinner, but he had to decline because it was his birthday and he needed to go home. Catherine prepared a surprise for her husband and organized a party at their home. However David called and said he was late for his flight, so he wouldn't be there for the next few hours. Of course the guests were disappointed, as was Catherine herself. When everyone had left, the husband still hadn't shown up. Catherine saw that the Michael's girlfriend, their son, wasn't going to leave. She wanted to send her home, but the young couple just closed the door in front of her. The next morning, David told his wife not to organize any surprises for him next year, as he didn't like them. After letting her know that he would be delayed, David began to get ready for work. Seeing the stranger in the house, Catherine began to resent, but the son said the father had allowed it. Taking advantage of the moment, Catherine decided to look through her husband's phone and saw a conversation with a student, as well as a photo of them together. In the evening, the couple went to a live music concert and then to a restaurant for dinner with their friends. Frank whispered to Catherine that men don't like such strict hairstyles as hers. Catherine thought David was flirting with a waitress. Excusing herself to go to the restroom, she let her hair down and went into a stall, hearing sobs next door. Catherine asked the girl if everything was okay, and she just said that some men constantly hurt her. At the mirror they met in person. The girl's name was Chloe, and she didn't take her eyes off Catherine, wanting to give her a hairpin, but the woman politely declined and returned to her company. Idle conversations continued at the table, Catherine periodically looked at Chloe, who was here with a man. On the way home, Catherine makes scenes of jealousy for her husband, but he finds her suspicions ridiculous. However Catherine knew that her spouse was not alone on his birthday. During the day from the window of her office, she sees Chloe coming to the hotel. After work, Catherine visited the same restaurant, ordering wine for herself and Chloe, with whom she had arranged a meeting earlier. Catherine wanted to use her to test her husband and understand how he would behave if a beautiful girl disguised as a student met him. The next day, Chloe came to the cafe where David usually has breakfast and asked him for sugar. Returning to her table, she exchanged smiles with the man. Later in the same cafe, Chloe met with Catherine, reporting that David had spoken to her. According to Chloe, he did not even flirt, but was simply friendly, however this was enough for Catherine. She asked Chloe how she manages to do her job and still feel normal. The girl replied that she tries to see something good in everyone, which helps her cope. After paying Chloe, Catherine asked her to approach David again. In the evening, she saw her husband texting someone. She also overheard a conversation between Michael and his girlfriend Anna, saying that they needed to end their relationship. Realizing that the mother was eavesdropping, Michael slammed the door. Catherine decided to tell her husband that their son's girlfriend had left him. David comforts his wife, saying that such things happen to everyone in their youth. He also told Catherine that he loves her, although the spark has disappeared from their marriage. In the morning, Catherine hears Michael talking on the phone with the father and sharing his concerns, asking how he met the mother. Suddenly she receives a message from Chloe, who scheduled a meeting. Catherine was about to give up the idea of checking her husband's fidelity, but the girl said that she had already met him. David invited her on a picnic, they talked about different things, and then he wanted to be alone with her. Shocked Catherine learned that Chloe and David came to the orangery, where passion arose between them. In a state of emotional distress, Catherine left, but from the street she saw Chloe falling off her bike and hitting herself hard. She decided to help the girl and treated her wound, but then she still wanted to hear the details of her meeting with David. Chloe told her everything that had happened in the orangery. They never got to the main point with David. Catherine asked Chloe to take all the tests for relevant diseases before meeting with her husband again. On the way home and in the shower, Catherine couldn't stop replaying Chloe's story in her head. In bed, the spouses lay back to back. A few days later, Chloe came to Catherine's office, noticing her son here who came to make copies of the music notes. Chloe struck up a conversation with the guy, embarrassing him. It turned out that Michael was into music, although he wasn't sure if he wanted to. Left alone with Catherine, Chloe reminded her of their meeting today. During the day, Catherine had lunch with her friends, but her thoughts were very far from there. Soon a message came from Chloe. The friends began to suspect that Catherine had a lover. Running away from the restaurant on a fabricated pretext, Catherine came to the hotel room, where she was to meet Chloe. The sheets were crumpled, and Chloe had just managed to put on a robe. She told her how David had rented this room, where passion had taken place between them. Chloe realized that talking about it seemed very exciting to Catherine. 
After receiving the money, the girl got dressed, and they left the room together. Catherine asked what lotion she had, and Chloe gently coated her hand with it. The woman remembered how she used to be happy with her husband before, but all that was in the past. Chloe confessed that according to David, he had never cheated on his wife before. Catherine realized that she had made a terrible mistake, and burst into tears. Chloe began to comfort her and kissed, but Catherine almost immediately left. Today Michael is performing at a concert. David immediately noticed his wife's depressed state. When the performance ended, he smelled the spouse's new lotion and said he really liked it. Struggling to hold back tears, Catherine hurried to leave and found Chloe in the restaurant with a man. She took the girl away from him, and they indulged in passion in the room. Chloe took the initiative, and desperate Catherine was willing to do anything not to feel the pain of husband's infidelity. As they rode in a cab, Chloe fell asleep on Catherine's shoulder. Before leaving, Catherine asked the girl to forget about her husband. Chloe gave her a special gift, the same hairpin that belonged to her mother. Chloe hoped to meet again, but Catherine was too confused and left. The husband was waiting for his wife at home, suspecting her of infidelity. Catherine started making reciprocal accusations, their son overheard them. David continued to deny that he had a lover. Michael intervened, saying that he wanted to leave for college as soon as possible. Catherine was late for work. The secretary handed her letters from Chloe, who asked her to call back. The girl sent a joint compromising photo by email. Catherine immediately called her, but Chloe had already come to her office with a bouquet of flowers. Catherine said they had gone too far and that they should not see each other anymore. She paid Chloe for that night, and the girl burst into tears. According to her, it was not about the money, but Catherine did not want to discuss it and escorted the girl out. Upset by the refusal, Chloe came to hockey where Michael was playing. After the game, she gave the guy a disc with his favorite band and began to flirt actively with him. Soon Catherine returned home and heard the familiar song. She immediately realized that her son had been seeing Chloe. The message from the girl confirmed it. Catherine called Chloe, who said that David had confessed his love to her. According to her, he feels like he is cheating on Chloe with his wife, not the other way around. Shocked Catherine arranged a meeting with the girl at the cafe. Chloe didn't know she had invited David too. Catherine wanted them to tell each other the whole truth right now. David was puzzled, but admitted that he had deliberately missed the plane on his birthday because he did not want to feel one year closer to retirement. He really flirted with that student, but they had nothing. Suddenly Chloe appeared and it was obvious that David didn't recognize her. He asked his wife who the girl was, but Catherine had nothing to say. However a minute later she told him that everything was over. David didn't understand what was happening and was about to go back to work. Catherine caught up with him on the street and told him about Chloe, who had been lying to her and taking money for it. The woman also didn't hide the fact that she had spent the night with her. Catherine was going through a very difficult period, feeling old while David seemed to be getting better with each passing year. Understanding each other without words, the spouses kissed. At this time Chloe came to their house to see Michael. He wasn't expecting any guests and got nervous when Chloe asked him to show her the house. Catherine and David made up. He had to finish the exam with his students. Catherine said she would wait for him at home. In the bedroom of the spouses, Chloe found her hairpin, and then hinted to the guy what she wanted. They did it right on his parents' bed. At work, David felt alarm. When Catherine returned home, she caught her son and Chloe under the covers. The girl started to tell the whole truth, so Catherine pushed Michael out of the room and locked the door. Chloe said she saw Catherine and Michael, so she couldn't help herself. Sensing something was wrong, the guy hurriedly circled the house and sneaked into the room another way, after which he witnessed a racy scene. Realizing that her son saw everything, Catherine pushed Chloe away and she fell onto the broken glass. Chloe voluntarily took her hands off the window frame and fell down. In the next scene, we see experts taking away the body, and David hugging his wife, while Michael cries. After a while, the family's life seems to get better. They threw a noisy party at home, and Catherine pinned up her hair with that same hairpin. 